Hi there. I'd like to make a t quick tutorial on how to enter time and visits into Hospice Engine via the web. Um, now, you know you can also do this in the Hospice Engine Android mobile app. Uh, just go into the Google Play Store and search for Hospice Engine and you'll find it there. Uh, so this is just a tutorial on who do for those of you who do not have an Android app and want to enter your time via the web. All right, so I'd like to go ahead and enter um, log in here as our demo user. Now, when you log in, you'll be presented with a list of your patients. You can search for patients here, or you can use our universal search box here. Um, if you use this box up here and search for a patient, I'll just put in part of his name, hit enter, and you'll be presented with that patient. So just in case you're, you're out and about, you log in, you can search for patients and also um, organizations and facilities and pharmacies and mortuaries. You just type in their information here. So I'll type in another word here. Oh, I didn't see anyone. So I'll go into the organizations. So say you want to search for um, one of these pharmacies. Even if I hear, I'm here on the patient screen, I'll look for the word pharmacy and search for that. You'll have both sets of results, either uh, matches to the patient and also matches to the organization. Um, but I'm getting a little off track here. I want to make this tutorial to show you how to use the timesheets and enter visits. So let's go into that section. So on the left side, just click on timesheets. All right. And you'll be presented with the add timesheet entry page. Simply just enter the, add the date. So let's say that the visit is for today. Um, select the patient name. I'll select Barry Bonds. Select the visit type. We have a number of visit lists uh, here. So you can have a death visit, GIP visit. I think typically you'll be selecting a routine patient visit. Depending on your um, your designation or your role, you might be looking for something like a CHJ visit, um, something like that. But I'll select a routine patient visit. Um, if you had drive time, you can select the start and end of your drive time. So the drive time is the first thing that's asked here. And the second section is the start and end of the patient time. So let's say I did drive to uh, Barry Bond's house. I started at 645 and I drove until 7 o'clock. I started the visit. Usually your patient time will start right at the end of your drive time. So I'll select 7 o'clock. You just want to make sure you don't have overlapping time or you'll see an error. Um, so I started the patient time at 7 a.m. and I went to 8 a.m. So I visited the patient for an hour and I drove um, 13, 13 miles. All right, so this visit is ready for entry. I'll click Save Entry here and you'll be presented with the another Add Timesheet entry page. But if you scroll down, you'll get a list of what you've already entered and the breakdown of what your hours are. So I have. 0.25 drive hours, one hour of regular time, and my total is 1.25 for the day. If I scroll down, um, you'll see the patient visit here. Okay, so there's a few options you can do on this patient visit. Either you can void the visit if I maybe entered this by mistake. You can edit the visit if you say want to update your drive time, mileage, whatever it is. Um, you can add H I and H I answer which is your hospice item set so if you click here you'll be presented with all of the hospice item set questions such as CPR preference um, whether or not a, uh, a certain regimens were started what's the patient's pain and what kind of um, pain uh, observations or tools you were used to observe the patient's pain level um, all those are here you can enter as many uh, questions and answers as you wish and at the bottom just hit submit. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. I'll hit back here and I'm on this um, patient and also for your hospice if you guys have your electronic notes uh, set up in the system you can click he here on the add note button and start entering your visit notes for that patient time. Um, but other than that you just go ahead and enter your next visit. Typically we'll, we'll see that um, RNs and uh, CHHAs might visit three to five patients a day. So you probably will continue entering um, visits here until your, your day is complete. Now, um, if you want to just print out a daily timesheet, there's that's another function here. It, say you need to turn in your daily timesheet along with some visit note paperwork. You can click print daily on the left-hand side. 
Okay, if you click that, and if I enter the same day that I just uh, created a visit entry for, uh, which was August 3rd, 2015, I'll hit go here. Okay, and it'll just print off the uh, visits for that day and the summary, my signature, and manage your signature, just in case this is part of your, your practice. Um, some of our hospices don't do this because you can also um, track this electronically, uh, but that option is there. So let's close that. And another way you can use this system is by printing your uh, payroll for the pay period. So if you click print summary, you'll select the pay period. So this was an August 3rd visit. So if I'm printing for that pay period, that would be August 2nd to August 15th. And I'll click view entries and I'll get this PDF uh, printout prepared with uh, the visits, the number of visits for each day and um, yeah, things like that. So this this might be timing out here because this uh, this is just our demo hospice, and so it's it's missing some um, items that the other hospices that other other hospices have when you're fully set up. Okay, so in this demo demo hospice, it did come back here, and we see that my visit was on 8-3. It has a breakdown. I don't have any meal or rest hours that day. I don't have any PTO that day. All on call PTO triage hours. These are all the different type of visit types you can be entering in. So say if I had a holiday um, or a vacation day, or if I called in sick, I'll see values in these fields and then I won't see any patient time. Um, then we break down the number of patient visits you have. I have one patient visit for that day. And then if I say enter a meal or rest visit, that won't count um, to the, the patient visits, of course, because I didn't visit a patient. Uh, then the total mileage for that day and so on. It'll have for each day. The other dates I don't have any en time entered and then it'll total everything on the right hand side. Down below you'll see a summary of week one, week two, and then the total. So if I had any overtime, say if I worked nine hours that day, I would show eight hours regular and one, eight, one hour OT. Um, so it depends on the uh, employee uh, or the labor laws for your state. So in the state of California, anything over eight hours for the day is overtime. And in, if you've worked seven straight days in the week, in the work week, the seventh day will be overtime as well. And if you work over 12 hours, then you're getting into what's called double time. All right. So uh, we do all those calculations based on your state. So if you do live in another state, we can accommodate your overtime calculations to assist in your payroll. Now, we don't do the payroll for you. So what our hospices do is they export the, the payroll information for each employee. We have a, an easy Excel report. You'll import it into your payroll system, such as ADP or Paychex um, or whatever you guys might use. Okay. Um, now, uh, other options are editing time. Uh, if you go to, if you want to edit this visit, say if I didn't enter one of these items correctly, I'll show you that page now. Let's click the edit button. All right, and then here you can change the visit date. You can change the visit type. Like say it, maybe it was a GIP visit and not a routine visit. Um, let's say I started my drive time a little bit earlier and I drove um, 23 miles. You can enter a comment here, but it's not a required field. Required fields are marked with a red asterisk. Okay, if you do miss one of those fields, you'll see an error. Like say I'll delete what's in this field, I'll save it, and you'll see that little pop-up saying that I need to fill in that answer. So I'll enter that, I'll submit, okay? And it brings me back to the previous page where I was at. Okay, so if we go back to add a timesheet, I'll go down and we'll see that my drive time, instead of uh, being 0.25, it's now half an hour. All right, so that does it for um, entering time. Uh, there's a few other things you can do in this page. Um, if you have more than one hospice, you can enter a visit for the secondary hospice by clicking this drop down button see that next to company so if I have say demo hospice number two I'll see a second option in this drop down and when you select your other hospice it will change the patient list so it'll just give you admitted and um, pending and discharged patients for 
that hospice. But since I have only one hospice, I, I can't switch the hospice. So I'll always be presented with that list. Um, there's uh, another thing you can do here. If you click on the settings page in here, I can uh, put in my availability. So that helps with the scheduling of the employees to um, for your patient visits. Um, and also you can change your password, okay? All right, so um, just enter your current password and then the new password twice and hit submit and then you will have um, your own uh, updated password. All right, so uh, and whenever you need to log out, say if you're on a shared computer, please be sure to log out of the Hospice Engine um, timesheet system. So just by clicking in the logout link on the left hand side. And that's it. Thanks for spending your time and learning how to enter timesheets via the web in Hospice Engine. Take care.